Let's work on the lesson rounding with numbers up to 100,000. This says round 92 to the nearest 10. Well, I know when I'm rounding numbers, I find whichever place we're rounding first. So here it says round to the nearest 10, so I'm going to find the tens place and put a line under it. So there is my tens place. Now I look at the place right next to it, in this case it's the ones place, and I decide if that number is five or above, I'm going to round up to the next 10. If that number is four or below, I'm going to round down and keep our tens the same. I'm going to show you why this works. If we have 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, we're trying to decide, is this number we're looking at closer to 90 or closer to 100? So if it's right in the middle, if it's 95, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we say that it is going to round up to the next 10, which would be 100. So anything here and beyond will round up to 100. Anything before it and back will round down to 90. So here we have 92. So we say 90, 91, 92. 92 is right here. Now we're saying, is that closer to 90 or is that closer to 100? Yeah, it's definitely closer to 90. So we're going to round down to 90. All right, so 90 is our answer. Now here they say round 100 to the nearest 10. Well, let's do that. Let's do our same. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's make these both a little long. So there's 90 and there's 100. And then we could also make lines and make this go to 110 if we wanted to. But if our number is 100, is this number closer to 90? Closer to 110 or is it closer to 100? Yeah, it's closer to 100 because it's right on 100. So we look at our tens place. We say, ah, oh, it's a zero. Do we round up or down? Uh, no. So 100 to the nearest 10 is 100. Now here we round 38 to the nearest 10. So let's make our line. So we would have 30 all the way up to 40. So I know that if we look at this number, our tens place, and then we look at the number right next to it, is this number 8, 5 or higher? Or is this number 4 or lower? Yeah, it's, it's higher than 5, right? So 38 would be about here, 38, and that is definitely closer to 40 than it is to 30. So we would round up to 40. Now we have round 55 to the nearest 10. So if we look at our line and we have 50 up to 60. We have 55 right in the middle. Do you remember what we said if a number is five or higher? Yes, we round up to 60. If this number was four or lower, we would round down to 50. But we're rounding up to 60 because it is five. Now they would like us to round 25 to the nearest 10. Well, I'm not going to draw the line this time but I'm going to look at my numbers. So here is my tens place because I know that is the place I'm going to be rounding. And I look at the number right next to it. Is this number going to make me round up or down? Yeah, it's going to make me round up to the next 10. So what is the next 10 after 20? 30. Here we have 54 rounded to the nearest 10. So I underline the tens place and I look here. Now, is this four going to make me round up to the next 10 or round back down to 50? 
Is this closer to 50 or closer to 60? Yeah, it would be closer to 50 because this is four or lower, which it is four. So 50. Now I will show you one more time why this works. Start with 50 here and 60 over here. Here is where 55 would be. So anything here and above we round up, but 54 is here. So it is closer to 50 than it is to 60. So 50. Round 68 to the nearest 10. Well, if I look at my tens place, and I know that is either going to round up or stay the same as the six. And then this number is going to tell us which one we're going to do. Are we going to round up or down? What do you think by looking at the eight? Yes, we're going to round up because this is closer to 70 than it is to 60. So 70 is what we would round up to. Here they say round 99 to the nearest 10. Well, here I see we have nine tens and nine ones. If I were to draw the line and start at 90 and go up to 100 because that is the next 10, there are 10 tens and 100. Would 99 be closer to 100 or to 90? Yeah, it'd absolutely be closer to 100 because it's just one away from 100. So if I drew my line and I had 90 and I had 100, 99 would be right before 100. So I know that 99 would round up to 100. Here we have 61 to the nearest 10. I look at my tens place because I know I'm rounding the tens. And I look at my ones place. Is 61 closer to 60 or is it closer to 70? Yeah, it's definitely closer to 60 because it's just one away from 60. So we will keep it the same or round down. All right, round 91 to the nearest 10. So here's 91. Will we round the nine up or keep it the same? but make the number 90. Will we round to 90 or will we round up to 100? Definitely to 90 because it is one away from 90. If we were to draw that line, we would have 90, 91, which is where that would be, then 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So it would definitely be closer to 90 than it would be all the way to 100. So 90. Amazing job, friends.